Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to create a sound region in the games that you are creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. Now I decided to make this video because I was curious to see if it was possible to make a sound region without any scripting. I figured that there might be some times where you are in a hurry and you might not want to script the different sound regions in your game. Now what I would like to do is have a different sound play as I enter each area. And so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with adding a part. Okay, so I've added my part and I'm going to resize it so that it's four studs by four studs roughly. Now that I have that block, I'm going to have it selected and I'm going to go ahead and call this sound region lake. Okay, you can name it whatever you would like. And now that I have that part, I'm going to add a sound to the part. You might have noticed this in other games, as you get close to a part, it plays music. And so that's what we're gonna do with this block. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make that over an entire area. So now that I have the block selected, I'm gonna go over to the Explorer on the right-hand side. I'm gonna click the plus icon, and I'm going to type in sound, and then I'm gonna select sound. Okay, so now I've got a sound in the block. And what I'd like to do is I want to find a sound to play for that lake area. So I'm going to go over to the toolbox and I'm going to click on down for the audio. And you're going to want to find there are plenty of free audios that you can use for your game. And you can always check uh, the Roblox site for each sound to make sure that uh, it is free to use. So you want to make sure that instead of sound effect, I'm going to go ahead and click on music. So now I'm clicked on music and I'm going to browse. Let's go with maybe a classical song. And I'm just going to go down here a little bit and let's go with maybe this March. You can always play the sound right here if you want, but what I'm going to do is just click on it and then I'm going to right click and then copy asset ID. So once I've copied the ID for that sound, I'm going to go over to my sound and in the bottom properties tab, I'm going to be scrolling down to where it asks for sound ID. I'm going to click on the box there and paste. So control V. And once you've pasted the sound ID into the sound, you wanna make sure you have your settings correct before we get started. So you wanna see, make sure that playing is actually clicked. So I'm gonna click on playing and I'm gonna go ahead and click on looped. Looped means that the song will continue to play as the game continues. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this right now. So as I get close to that part, it should play this music. So you can see it's playing the sound. As I walk away from the part, the sound fades away. Okay, so you can see it worked. So I was able to put that in that sound into this part. So now the next thing you want to do is change how far away you can hear the sound. So I want to only hear that sound as I'm in this area. So you want to for this, you're going to want to know how big your area is uh, to make this work. So in this area, I'm looking at the studs here and I'm seeing maybe about 40 studs by 40 studs, somewhere around there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this part and I'm going to change my sound. And so when it says the maximum roll off distance, I'm gonna change that to 40. So that'll be after I get past 40 studs, then it will stop playing. And the min minimum distance, I'm gonna keep that at 10. And then the inverse roll off mode, that's fine. Although I found that it works a little better without any scripting to do the linear. And that makes it just a little smoother. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna put that over in my uh, area over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that, put that right there. You can still see it. Uh, of course you could always, you know, go to the part and then just make that part uh, invisible by clicking on the transparency and making that one. Um, so now you wouldn't be able to see the part. Um, you can also, I'm going to put it for zero for now. And before I play, I want to make sure that I have this anchored. So it's in the same spot. Uh, I'm going to have can collide turned off. I don't want them to be able to collide with it and I've anchored there. So now that part is sitting in the area and let's see if it works. There we go. So it seems to be working. And as I come out of the area, the sound goes away. Okay, so then I would do the exact same thing for the skyscraper. So then I would, uh, I can go ahead and actually just take this part and duplicate it, control D. And then now I have two of those and I'm gonna take one of them and let's move it over to the skyscraper. And the skyscraper is about the same size. I'm gonna put that right into the skyscraper. I have it selected 
and then I'm going to drop down. I've got the sound, and now this one, I'm just going to change the sound ID, and then now I'll have two different areas that I can hear different sounds as I enter that area. Let's do maybe the city. Actually, let's change it to a blues. How about that? All right, so I'm going to try this one this time, and I'm going to copy that asset ID, and now over in the second sound area, I'm just going to click on sound, go to the sound ID, paste that number, and then now when I play this game, I'll have two distinct sounds, this kind of lo-fi sound, and then the uh, classical sound. So there's the classical sound. And there's the lo-fi sound. So you can see it was able to, I was able to work with each of those. One thing I wanted to point out with this method is that there are limitations to the regional sounds that you created. So the first thing you might have noticed is that as you go into an area and then come back out of the area, the sound continues to play even when you're not in that area. So let's say I go over to the classical sound. It's playing and then I'll come away from the area. And then as I go back in, it doesn't restart the sound. It actually continues where it was before. So that might be something that might limit you. You might want the sound to play from the beginning, um, which I wasn't able to figure out how to do with this technique. You would have to use a script for that. Um, and then the other things that you may have noticed is that when you're walking around the area, it pans from left to right. So sometimes it's coming out of your left speaker and sometimes it's coming out of the right speaker, depending on where you are in relation to the sound. So that's something that uh, you might uh, not be happy with. If you actually know how to change that panning effect with the uh, sounds that are apart, please put it in the comment section below and I'll, I'll update the video. And then one last thing that I noticed is the whenever you're doing that distance from, so you remember when we were working on the bottom right hand side with the sound and we wanted to change the roll off max distance and the minimum distance. So you might have noticed that, that that actually means where the camera is and not where the avatar is. So whenever I, I'll show you what I mean. So whenever I go into first person here, you can better hear where the sound starts and stops, right? But if I just take away the camera, the sound also stops. So, um, so that might be something where you might wanna have a fixed camera angle and then you can change the distances based off that. So I hope you found this helpful on how to create sound areas in the games you're creating in Roblox without having to do any scripting. Of course, if you wanted to make any of these more nuanced and have different parameters in your sounds, uh, you would most likely have to use a script for that. If you see something that I did that uh, maybe I can be imp improved upon and that you might be able to do something more creative with these sounds, please put that in the comment section below. It will help others who are looking at how to do this. So I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.